Hello viewers, how are you today? I hope you always healthy and happy. Located some 4 hours drive from Surabaya, the capital of East Java, Mount Bromo is a part of the Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park, that covers a massive area of 800 square kilometers. While it may be small when measured against other volcanoes in Indonesia, the magnificent Mount Bromo will not disappoint with its spectacular views and dramatic landscapes. At 2,392 meters tall, Mount Bromo is not among the tallest of Indonesia's mountains, but its stunning beauty lies in its incredible setting. From a vantage point on Mount Penangikan, 2,770 meters above sea level, 2.5 hours from Malang. Visitors from around the world come to see the sunrise over Mount Bromo. From this spot the vista is magnificent. All you will hear is the click of cameras, as visitors snap their cameras hoping to capture the incredible scene of Mount Bromo, in the foreground with Mount Semeru smoking, in the distance and the sun shining brightly, quickly rising in the sky. The eerie landscape has spurned countless legends and myths. Mount Bromo has particular significance for the Tengger people, who believe that this was the site where a brave prince sacrificed his life for his family. The people here appease the gods once a year, during the annual Kasada festival, where offerings of vegetables, chickens and money are thrown into the crater of the volcano. Here are the reasons, why you must never skip Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park. Epic sunrise it is a well-known topic, hashtags, and Instagram posts among Indonesian travelers, to show off the heavenly epic sunrise, at Mount Bromo in the National Park. Its beauty is enough, to make those who haven't had a chance, to directly view it jealous and curious. The cold fresh wind blows gently onto your skin. You will feel like all your life worries get blown away with the wind. Faint fog covers the mountain will be soon melted, by the ray of light. Around 5.30 am Western Indonesia time, the sun rises and to view it better, you can choose among five different famous spots, namely, Site Pananyakan 1, Site Pananyakan 2, Site Bukit Ketalu, Site Bukit Mentigan, and Site Bukit Sint of Love Hill. The first two of these climbs have convenient facilities for the climbers, such as prayer rooms, toilets, and food stalls. Make sure you have your jacket put on and bring your cameras. Scenic Picnic Besides the sunrise, having a picnic with your family, friends, or partner in a natural open space at Bromo Tanger Semeru is worthy enough to make precious memories, while it may be hard to come and climb the mountain early in the morning, most of the travelers choose another time to visit the national park and have a picnic with their group. Either you miss the sunrise or after the sightseeing, you can book Mount Bromo Sunrise Romantic Breakfast and Intimate Picnic Service. Roll out a carpet or a mat on the grass, put out your basket items, and have the dishes together with your companion while gazing at nature. Once you have filled your stomach, you can continue your trip with a jeep tour to several hills such as Love Hill, Widodoran, Bromo Crater, Whispering Sands, and Savannah. Whispering Sea of Sands as the name suggests, the Whispering Sea of Sands is a very wide expanse of sand stretches in the Bromo area. The name, Whispering Sands, is established by a director, of a film with the same name who made the place as the shooting location. He described the roar of the wind will carry the grains of sand, as if it is whispering something. You can hear this roar more clearly in the dry season. Located in the National Park, at the east of Bromo Crater, the area of sand fills your eyes from beginning to end. Make sure you put your glasses on, and close your mouth if you don't want the sands to run into you. Relaxing Lakes Another must-not-skip place in Bromo Tengger Semeru is, relaxing natural lakes scattered over Mount Semeru. 
There are six lakes you can visit, for their clear and fresh water, they are, Ranu Pani, Ranu Regulo, Ranu Kumbolo, Ranu Tomp, Ranu Durungan, and Ranu Kuning. These lakes are located randomly. Some of them are at a village, another is at the top of the mountain, and on the climbing track. You can set up a tent, and spend the night near the lake, particularly if you are in the middle of climbing. The calm water indulges your mind and relaxes your body. Amazing Waterfalls Last but not least, the most astounding spot around Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park, is the amazing waterfall of Madakaripura, the highest waterfall in Java Island. With a height of 200 meters, this waterfall is the second highest waterfall in Indonesia. One of its uniqueness is the water never recedes even in the dry season, therefore it is called the eternal waterfall. If you glance up at the waterfall, it will look like water or light coming up from heaven. Another nickname is eternal rain, due to the splash of water flowing from the rocks on the cliff making the atmosphere always drizzle, along the way to the main waterfall. You can either bring an umbrella or just feel the refreshing splash of water. Have you made up your mind to visit Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park with your family, colleague, or your lover? These five wondrous spots will definitely make them accompany you to come to the national park. Make sure the picnic set and climbing equipments are on your belonging lists. Lastly, do not forget to keep the existing health protocols such as wearing your mask in public areas, keeping your distances from others, washing your hands regularly, avoiding crowded places, and minimizing your mobility. The vegetation of the Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park consists of four main types, Highland Forest, Alvin Forest, Casuarina Forest and Grassland. There are about 600 species of flora in the park, including Javanese Edelweiss that grows in high altitudes and about 200 species of endemic orchids. There are about 130 species of birds and 22 species of mammals living in the park, including Java Rusa, a deer, wild pig, silver leaf monkey, leopard and marbled cat. The area around the park is inhabited by the Tengger people, one of the few significant Hindu communities remaining in Java. The local religion is a remnant from the Majapahit era and therefore quite similar to that on Bali but with even more animist elements. Today the Tengger people derive their income mainly from small-scale farming and from the visiting tourists that come to enjoy the stunning sunrise overlooking Mount Bromo and explore the hiking trails of the national park. That was the information about Mount Bromo that you need to know. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and turn on notification.